Very cool. Oh, I like that. Over at the Mall of America, lots going on over there today. Yeah, there is. And Always we'll is. Check in with Todd Walker. He's in the Rotunda where they're doing their Heart Expo. Yep, more on your very, very March, end of March style forecast. All right, time now is 736. The annual Go Red Health Expo is looking to help people with their heart health today at the Mall of America. And that's where we find Fox 9's Todd Walker with a look at what the day holds. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Leah. Yes, we're back out here at the Rotunda at Mall of America, where all the fun and activities start at 11 o'clock. Of course, celebrating Heart Health Month here at Mall of America and throughout the entire month. But right now, we're going to give you little tips on how to do CPR. I don't know about you, but most of us have had training doing CPR, but you kind of forget a couple things. So you can come out here today and you can get CPR training that will be happening all day long. And, of course, we're here with Kim Harkins. How are you, Kim? Just fine. And you were saying a little bit earlier, you've been teaching CPR for how long? Oh, more than I want to mention. A long, long time. <laughs> long, long so time. you're going to be learning from a pro out here. But it's not only just CPR for people, it's also CPR for dogs and cats. And so they're going to be doing some uh, training on that as well. So first of all, let's talk about for people. And these are hands-only CPR, correct? Correct. All right. So what are some of the tips here? Because you have two volunteers here that are going to be walking us through it as well. Yes, so the big thing to understand is that this can be done very quickly. People want to just stop by within just five minutes. We can go through the basic steps. They get a chance to actually practice on the mannequins, and they'll walk away with the skills they need if an emergency ever happened. So if somebody suddenly collapses, the first thing we want to tell people to do is make sure they call 911, get an ambulance okay. on the way, and then if the person is not awake, and they're not breathing normally, so they're maybe gurgling or not breathing normally, they're going to start hands-only CPR right away. A lot of people don't want to do CPR because they don't want to do the breaths, so hands-only CPR is a great way that people can take action before emergency help gets there. So by taking the heel of one hand and interlocking the other over, putting them on the center of the chest, elbows straight, get their body up over, they just compress straight down, and it's about a third to a half of the depth, so about two inches. So go ahead and start compressing, girls. And they're going to do about 100 beats a minute, so it's to the tune of staying alive. Still using the staying alive. Still deal. using staying alive, that's right. And so you just keep compressing until help gets there. Okay, so that's, that's for people. And I believe we have to wrap here in a moment. But when we come back, do you want to show us on the dog? Absolutely. All right, so you guys, it's a little teaser for you because this is Casper. This is Casper, and so we're going to do CPR. It's kind of freaky looking, isn't it? This is Casper. We're going to do a little CPR on Casper right there. This Casper's a, kind of a, a dead dog right now. Well, it's a simulated dog. Oh, I'm going to have all go. these. I'm going to have all these animal lovers now hating me. No, Casper's a nice dog. That's right. But we're going to do a little CPR on Casper and on Lucy. On Lucy. All right, guys. We'll see you back here in a little bit. He's not a dead dog, Todd. To You're trying to keep him alive. That's the point of it. All right. Thank you, Todd. Cody, over to you.